Oh hi! I'm going to level with you. The only major new video game on retail shelves this week is Super Black Bass 3D. So let's not talk about it. In fact, this week, let's just talk about Metroidvanias. Yes. Now, as you might imagine from the name, a Metroidvania is a game that is sort of like Super Metroid or Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's a 2D platformer with a big open world that you can explore at your leisure finding new power-ups that allow you to explore more of the world. Now, the major downloadable new video game out this week is inspired by the Metroidvania style of gaming. So, let's take a look. So yes, the only new game out this week that you really need to care about is Guacamelee, a Mexican-themed Metroidvania for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. Your Lucador character can punch, kick, and suplex his enemies into submission, but the game's multiple dimension twist means you've got to be on the same astral plane as your enemies before you can get them into a chokehold. Guacamelee is a love letter to classic games, and you'll find sly references to them dropped throughout. Instead of Metroid's Chozo statues, Guacamelee has Chorizo statues. For 15 bucks, you get both the PS3 and the Vita version, which can share cloud saves. Guacamelee is out April 9. If all this makes you feel like you want to play an actual Castlevania, you're in luck. Available now for the Nintendo 3DS is the original 8-bit entry in the series. Now, the first Castlevania isn't actually a Metroidvania. Why? Because it's just a straightforward, linear platform game that's broken up into discrete levels. Now, apart from that, this epic battle between vampire hunter Simon Belmont and his nemesis Dracula is one of the most notoriously difficult games of the end. NES era, but you're in luck. On the 3DS, you can save and restore your game at any point, meaning that killing Dracula might finally be within your grasp if you cheat your ass off, which we encourage you to do. And finally, once you've finished with Guacamelee and Castlevania, you might feel a hankering to go back to the game that started it all, and you'd be in luck. On May 15th, Nintendo will release Super Metroid for the Wii U Virtual Console. This groundbreaking Super Nintendo game is considered even today to be one of the best games ever made, and for the first month that it's available, it'll be just 30 cents thanks to Nintendo's special promotion. Now, that price will go up to $8 after the first month, but even then, it's still a bargain. You can play this version of Super Metroid all on the Wii U gamepad screen, so you don't have to take up the whole TV if you don't want to. So whether you want Metroid or Castlevania or a Metroidvania combination inspired by both, you will have plenty to do in the next few weeks. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Game Life.